Hi, my name is Jason Pietschuk. I'm a biological science technician here at Zion National Park. I'm here in Zion Canyon, surrounded by enormous steep walls of red sandstone. Behind me, as you can see, is the Virgin River, and we're standing here at the Big Bend, also known as Shuttle Stop 8. These walls are intimidating to many visitors of Zion National Park, but they're actually a favorite of our local and growing climbing community. And in the springtime, climbers partner with biologists in Zion to monitor the few wild animals that really depend on those walls, including our nesting California condors. Today, we're celebrating the birthday of Zion's most famous condor, 1K. I'll tell you the story. Condors were once widespread in North America. Their bones have been found in archeological sites from upstate New York to coastal Florida. The disappearance of many large food sources, the prehistoric megafauna of this continent, probably put their population on the decline. Much later, humans came along and nearly wiped them out completely. At one point, there were only 22 living condors in the entire world, California condors in the entire world. All living California condors were captured in the 80s and brought into captive breeding programs. Eventually, an experimental population was established by the Peregrine Fund with a wide variety of partners at Vermilion Cliffs, Arizona, just 30 miles from here. That condor population grew. Some of those birds eventually flew up to Zion and in 2019, for the first time in recorded history, condors nested on Angel's Landing and successfully produced a chick that fledged, uh, that survived to fledge. That is, it grew up and left the nest. That's Zion's famous California condor 1K. A big milestone for Zion and a huge milestone in the recovery program. That's the 1,000th condor to live since the recovery program began. When I say 1K successfully left the nest, it was described more as a mix of flying and falling by the lucky visitors who witnessed the event. Then for a couple of months, thousands of visitors got to come to this spot by shuttle to view 1K as it developed its flying abilities. But the story doesn't end there. For many reasons, wild animals can sometimes become too comfortable around humans and that can only lead to problems for the animals. That's why we all need to do our part to help wild animals stay wild by keeping our distance and never feeding them. As we say in Zion, watch wildlife and respect wildlife. After spending so much time nesting in the heart of a busy national park, 1K and its parents were showing signs of habituation. That's a lack of fear of people. So a team of trained volunteers spent a couple of months conducting behavioral reinforcement to teach it to keep a healthy distance from us dangerous humans. The last big hurdle to leave the relative safety of Zion happened just recently when 1K followed its parents and flew all the way to Arizona. In the wider world, 1K will be able to find more food and other condors to socialize with and hopefully to breed with one day, maybe back here in Zion. But there are dangers out there too. The biggest threats to condors are human caused. Micro trash is a serious problem, especially for young birds. So please be sure to pick up your garbage and consider picking up a little extra litter if you see it. All of our volunteers in Zion fill up an extra bag every time they go out hiking. The other major problem for wild condors is lead poisoning from gut piles, but an increasing number of hunters are leading the way by packing out those gut piles uh, and even considering alternatives to lead core ammunition. And that brings us to the present. It's now been a year since 1K hatched from its egg. It's fully grown now and a strong flyer. 1K still spends a lot of time flying over Zion and we hope it always will. Happy birthday, 1K.